Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi, I'm Manny Pacheco here at Cinecon, representing Forgotten Hollywood and Celebrating Act 2. We are here with a Cinecon Legacy Award winner. He's about to receive his award tonight, and we're happy to have the legendary Jimmy Hunt. Thank you so much for spending some treasure time with us. Well, thank you for having me. This is, this is really great. I mean, uh, Cinecon has put on a really good thing, and, and uh, I'm just really happy and proud to be here. You have a storied career. We want to talk about Invaders from Mars, but let's talk a little bit about some of the other films, and you've worked with some of the top, uh, just coming uh, to mind, I mean, some just great A-list stars, and you're, you're part of that legacy. You know, the thing is, is that it's been 70 years since we made Invaders from Mars, but prior to that, I mean, I've made almost, what, 38, 40 movies, and a lot of people don't realize that I had a career before <laughs> Invaders. Don't cry, I'll buy you another one. Oh. Good evening, Mr. Jordan. Good evening, Mr. Jordan. Here's my book. Uh, are you positive you've got room for all of us? I think it's time for you to wash your hands for dinner, though. Gosh, I don't mind dirty hands. Why does everybody else care so much? But no, I, I, I got to work with a lot of the big stars in Hollywood, and um, the ironic thing about it is the fact that my parents had to tell me who they were because I didn't know who people were. You know, I, I went and it, to me it was like I went to work every day. I took my little, my little uh, pail of my lunch pail and I went to work every day. And so it was, um, it was fun. My family had never, never even thought about being in movies at all, you know, and having it. They never looked, it wasn't like I was fulfilling my parents' dream of being, no, it was, I was at the right spot at the right time, and the talent scout found me in school, and hey, all the rest happened. And you get to work with a legendary uh, man in Hollywood, William Cameron Menzies, and of course as a director, but he, you know, he has a legendary uh, portfolio, including Gone with the Wind. Uh, and, and now you, you have him directing you and telling you that you're about to uh, maybe make one of the most iconic films uh, in the history of science fiction. Yeah, it's true. I mean, and I think about it. I mean, here's a film that has, uh, you know, been around for like 70 years and people still remember it. And, uh, and I think even now we're starting to build up another fan base. And a lot of young kids uh, are, are getting to uh, understand what the movie was all about and get to see it again. And now that they've restored it, uh, the, new, the new film is great. It's better than the original, I think. Well, they've, they've improved upon the coloration of the titles, and of course the rest of the film just looks bright. It, it just pops off the screen, doing special screenings. Of course, you're here at Cinecon with one of the special theater screenings, and it's going to be released Blu-ray Blu and DVD. So we're, it's really one of the great restoration uh, achievements, and it, it's, it's really being promoted right. You know, they are. They're doing a great job of doing it. And uh, like I said, here was a movie that... Uh, probably cost them about $300,000 to make. And it's, uh, it's just, it's still here, and people are still wanting to see it. You know, and without the baggage and the scare of the atomic age, remember, when, when these films came out, I mean, folks were really scared, and, and, these, and these films really would chill and scare an audience. Now today we can look back from a historical perspective and really enjoy the majesty and the magic, and Ignite Films, uh, Ignite films have really done a masterful job at really trying to make it pop for a 21st century audience. Right. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, the young kids now, they will not understand anything about the McCarthy age and, and all those things. And I mean, when I was making the movie, I didn't understand too much about it either. You know, it was just, hey, I was there and I was doing what the Menzies wanted me to do. And he told me what he wanted and I tried to give him that to him. Can we also chat a little bit about your work with uh, Janine Perot? If I may say, she she refers to you as your her first crush. Oh, that's that's kind of neat. I mean, you know, uh, I had the opportunity making my first movie with her older sister, with Gigi, and I made six movies with Gigi, and then uh, we made a Weekend with Father, and then of course Invaders from Mars, 
uh, Janine and I. And uh, it's, 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 that's kind of, I mean, that makes me feel kind of neat, you know, <laughs> her first crush. That's good. Cool. And today she gets to go full circle and give you the uh, Cinecon Legacy Award. How do you feel about the, a Lifetime Achievement Award of, of this magnitude? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm worthy of it or not. I mean, you know what I mean? I just, I was there. I, I put my time in. Uh, I never wanted it to be a career. I was into sports and wanted to do that in high school, which I did. Uh, so I, I've lived kind of two lives. Uh, my from seven to 14 in the movies, and then I got out and played, uh, I guess I was the original Happy Days. I mean, I did everything that they did on that program, the cars, the girls, all those kind of things in high school. And then I went in the service and met my wife in, oh, in, in Germany, and uh, we've been married, we're gonna be married 60 years here in January. Well, a 70-year project in the making, the restoration of Invaders from Mars, Ignite Films, of course, uh, with a special screening in selected theaters, and beautifully restored on 4K UHD, and Blu-ray, produced by Ignite Films, the DVD you need to own. And we're happy to have our good friend here, Jimmy Hunt, receiving an award here at Cinecon. Thank you for spending some time with us. Manny, thank you very much for having me. I appreciate it. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And he joins, of course, Mitzi Gaynor, George Shakiris, and uh, Patty McCormick as Cinecon Legacy Award winners. I'm Manny Pacheco for Forgotten Hollywood and Celebrating Act Two here at Cinecon. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.